Setup-wise for me, massive positives there in terms of that grip position. The logo now is visible, so you can see the work there and the practice you've done with that grip. When you first made that change, it probably felt horrendous, if we're yeah. honest. <laughs> now it's starting to feel a little bit more, oh, this is kind of where I got the golf club. This is where we're going to hold the golf club for the rest of my golf going forward. Okay, now, take the club away. Okay, good back swing there. And then same again with this one. Same good back swing. So nothing really changing for me now. The trick is now, the thing we're going to try and focus on, as I said, this imaginary wall okay, up through your left side that we're trying to move towards and then away from in terms of rotating round, okay? What you do on this one here now, okay? As you start coming down, the left knee will start to kind of move a little bit there towards that line, but now there's daylight, so then the daylight increases with your knee there in the blue line. As you start moving back away, a little bit kind of scoopy, quite high with the club face there in terms of the shot and just adding, sorry, adding loft to the gold club, okay? Mm. On your back foot, quite tucked up and now and that left foot spinning out of the way. You compare it to this and just look at the yellow bag behind you. There you go. That kind of bump and trigger there, okay? Mm. As you start moving the golf club down. Now, if we look at this impact position, it's an impact here now. There you go. So that's just prior to impact, but the club now is kind of more in line with that left mm -hmm. shoulder, okay? We've got the strike there now. There's no flick with the hands there. You compare this strike to this one here now, where there's your impact. Yeah. Just look at the angle of your trail knee, yeah? Your trail knee, or sorry, trail leg, should I say. This yeah. one is pretty straight up. That one's leaning back. And again, just look where that line goes into relation to your body. That one's leaning back a long yeah. way. A lot of movement there behind the golf ball. Yeah. As you finish this swing, does your right foot really move? Not really, quite narrow and tucked up, and then a bit of a, and kind of a, a secondary afterthought. That's oh, I'll move a little bit there now. Mm. In comparison, <laughs> okay, you're moving there. Where are you going? You're moving through that line there now. Now, if I'm being honest, you probably moved a little bit too much. This is why you kept going. I watched your knee there. You say you kept going this way, and then you've gone too far because you basically moved through that black, that blue line with your knee and your torso. Rather than going here and then twisting, you kind of gone here and just, just kept going. Yeah. And obviously that, I think, at the moment is going to be more for you to kind of figure out where your balance is, not just, oh, I move to the left and then just keep going, okay? Yeah. Like with all golf things, you can move too far, not far enough, and there's, there's variations from both sides, okay? We need to move the lower half into that blue line, so up against the wall. But as you start moving up against the wall, now, so if we go back to kind of your setup here now, as you get to about here... Now you start twisting your hips, but you kind of keep going laterally a bit too much, and then your hips haven't had a chance to rotate, and now by which time you've, you've tilted over too much, that's yeah. resulting in that. So if you finish in that kind of stepped position where this right foot now has gone beyond your left foot, it's not that you're losing your balance because there's lack of balance, it's the fact you're losing your balance because your top half has just kept going this way mm. and moved to target, and you have to keep going eventually, and you can't turn. So yes, we can move from here, okay? I can move this way your old movement okay i can move this way and now it's like oh i've gone too far yeah or i can move towards the wall and from here now turn and pivot this hip to go around the corner yeah yes that left hip needs to kind of go towards that blue line towards that blue line and then rotate around it okay so from here we've got daylight there let's clear these lines here there's daylight there between that blue line and your left hip we move towards it a little bit and then around you kind of go towards it nice there as the arms start coming down but you just keep going to the left it now it's just a ping yeah, so beyond the light and now you've gone too far never come around. and you never get around in time so you're always like leaning <laughs> forwards to try and balance yourself now yeah if your body's used to being on one side then when it goes to the side you're gonna be like Ooh, losing a bit of balance yeah okay yeah. If we can get your body moving towards target more efficiently and then rotate the way then you'll finish more in balance. I mean, that kind of is a more balanced finished position, but it's because you're used to being there and you were yeah, on yeah. your back foot, the right foot, realistically. If I if I go back to kind of there, I mean, there's not really much right foot moving at all. Your left foot legs move more than your right foot when jumping backwards. And I mean, your left foot kind of, when it started, was on that blue line. You can see the left foot moving there. They'll dance move there, okay? <laughs> Leaning back on that right side. Okay, just getting that sensation from here. So I'm going to move into the line. Again, good setup, good grip, into the line, and rotate out, okay? That's to take a bit of practice up against the wall and those kind of things. Okay, so a few more shots in to get that feeling down a bit more if we can, okay?